If you're looking for something safe to do as you celebrate Black History Month, lots of places are doing with great care to accommodate COVID safety protocols. And here with some suggestions is Roz Stutley from Choose Chicago. Hi, Roz. Hi, Micah. How are you today? Ha good. Happy Black History Month. Yes, happy Black <laughs> History Month. You know, we've all been cooped up because of the quarantines and, and COVID, but there's some places to go safely this Black History Month. Tell us about one in particular, Art Institute. You bet. The Art Institute of Chicago has reopened with the exhibit Bisa Butler Portraits. Uh, this is a beautiful collection of 20 multimedia portrait quilts that vividly capture personal and historical narratives of Black life. Oh, how so, wonderful. Mm -hmm. That would be great. Now, how do you get into the Art Institute? Um, your mask, obviously, and I'm sure that your safe distance. How does that work? Yes. Definitely they have the safety protocols in place. You can visit the Art Institute's website or just visit choosechicago.com to check out some of those safety protocols that you'll want to keep, keep in mind as you're entering the, uh, the museum. Tell us some more about these quotations. Who, who will we read about or read from, I should say? Absolutely. Well, Bisa Butler, the portraits, I'm actually thrilled. I'm hoping to check it out this weekend with a friend of mine um, and see it in person. But again, it's multimedia portrait quilts that capture personal and historical narratives of black life and just uh, it really captures the heart of the African-American community. So I'm thrilled to check it out and learn more myself. Oh, great. And tell us about the Mandela exhibit. You bet, you bet. The Mandela exhibit is over at the Illinois Holocaust Museum and Education Center, uh, which it just reopened and is excited to welcome the public back with free admission on Wednesdays Ooh. through March, free. <laughs> so we're all excited about that. Right. Uh, the museum opens with a special exhibit, Mandela Struggle for Freedom. Um, the exhibit traces the history of apartheid in South Africa with Nelson Mandela as the central character will feature immersive environments such as the recreation of Mandela's cell on Robben Island. Mandela promotes the human rights with a central message that all people deserve to be treated with dignity and respect. So really, really excited to check that out. I love it. We showed some video of it and it's, it looks like it's, you know, not hands on, but you can feel like you're there. Yes, yes, I am. Um, you know, we just have some great opportunities here to celebrate Black History this month. And these are new exhibits to the city, so thrilled that we'll showcase them. And of course, if you're hungry, Virtue. If you are hungry, oh my God, boy, do we have a ton of options for you. I'll kick it off with Chicago Restaurant Week, which returns March 19th through April 4th. This year, Chicago Restaurant Week will kick off with at least 245 participating restaurants. Um, they will all be announced February the 24th, but we're really excited about that. Um, but in the meantime, you can check out a ton of different restaurants locally, including some Black-owned restaurants like Luella's, which mm. offers Southern Kitchen, um, Luella's Southern Kitchen, which mm. offers um, Southern Cooking by our very own chef, Darnell Reed who learned to make some awesome dishes as a kid with his Mississippi-born grandma, Luella, such as uh, shrimp and grits, which is actually one of Delicious. my husband's favorite dishes to try. Yummy, yummy. Oh my God, so <laughs> yummy. So I'm super excited to make a reservation there. And then venture on over to Evergreen Park and check out Brian and Linda Flippin's Flippin' Flavors. Now, Micah, if you haven't had a chance to try this yet, try that cheese steak hoagie sandwich because it is amazing. Mm. And you'll thank me later. Oh, it sounds delish. And yes. let's not forget Eric Williams in High Park. Yes, Eric Williams over in High Park, James Beard award-winning nominated chef, uh, blends his background in the fine dining and world and the love of Southern cuisine. So. Definitely an awesome restaurant to visit and check out as well. And this is just a, a small sampling of what's mm -hmm. available. Definitely recommend checking out ChooseChicago.com for more restaurant options. All right, Ross Stutley, thank you so much. We appreciate it.